Hi art friends. Hello art friends. Would you like to see some highlighters? Because I would. Those look fancy. So today um, we're going to be drawing some neon hairstyles with these. Ooh, those are like, seriously guys, these are like the super most super bright highlighters I have ever seen. You might have seen them once when we did geese. Do you remember the yeah, geese we that the we did? the highlighter challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tip these out on the bed. <laughs> Very satisfying. So, what's made you want to do some neon hairdos? Yeah, that's the thing. This is probably the fastest I've jumped into drawing a video in Doodle Day because <laughs> I'm just so excited to use highlights. I just love highlighters so much. We got a letter through to our PO box because our PO box is closing and mm. we're getting sort of the last of the mail coming through right now. And we had someone draw us a bunch of characters with neon hairstyles. Yeah. And I thought, what a nice way to end our P.O. box. So, I thought, okay, I'm going to steal your idea. <laughs> Thanks for the idea. <laughs> Are you going to draw several? I'm thinking doing a few, like, maybe busts, like the head, neck and shoulders yeah, and trying it. I was thinking it. maybe that, because this is all, almost accidentally turned into a series, because we have the rainbow coloured... Uh, hairstyle. Oh yeah, you guys love that one then too. We the blow pen hair salon. <laughs> With Bob Ross's urinal disc hairdo. Yeah. If you don't know what we're talking about, guys, we'll link it. God, you don't look like you have a head from this angle. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it's like a hat on a mannequin. <laughs> Welcome to Doodle Date with Stefan Mannequin. The mannequin man. I don't know if I have to have the eyes open or closed. Can you turn it around so we can have a look? You want to see? Oh wow, I thought her arm was a sword from upside down, but you can definitely tell that that's an arm from this angle. <laughs> Feel my sword hands. What do you reckon, eyes open or closed? What do you think? Uh, open. You want them open? Okay. We can do those open, can't we? I'm actually glad you said open, because I did that originally, and then I was like, hmm, should I try them closed? And you were like, no, have them open. So I'm like, ha oh. There we go. I'm tr trying to figure out how to draw the nose on this character. I think I'm going to go onto a few pages as well. You've scaled yours really nicely, but as you... Yeah, I wanted to leave some space <laughs> to do some extra ones. As usual, I've drawn way too big and took up most of the page. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can do more pages if you want to. There's no rules. You do you. I think you have the problem that you tend to draw too big, and I have the problem that I tend to draw too small. You reckon? I've noticed, like, it's in different challenges, you tend to draw really tiny. I think we should just, like, fuse powers and just draw normal sized. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to put a little poll up here. Do you guys tend to draw too small or too big? Yeah, do you draw too big or too small, guys? Because I always draw way too big, because I have big hands. Okay, I'm not going to go in too dark with the hair, because it tends to smudge, so I think... Oh no, are you moving on to colours already? <laughs> Away! <laughs> no, that's mine! <laughs> um, I might do two colours, so what colours do you think could complement each other if I do two? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that! I can catch. So, what <laughs> colours would you like me to use? Can you put some cool music over this? <laughs> what colours do you want me to use? Just use the one you're holding, you keep flipping it. It's but what, chosen. I, I need two. Um, what goes with blue? It's going quite nicely against your yellow top, so there you go, blue and yellow. Oh, okay. I'm all colour colour. It matches your outfit. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna give her, like, uh, yellow tips. Like on the end. Like in my head this looks amazing, but in, in real life... <laughs> Isn't that every drawing ever though? Like in your head you're like, this is the next masterpiece, I'm gonna be the next Da Vinci. <laughs> and da Vinci's like, nope, call me when you've painted a chapel. In the comments, could you guys let me know how well you think you can see your drawings when you draw them? And do they turn out like how you see them in your head? Oh, there are some people that can literally vision a finished thing and replicate. And do it like perfectly. It's ridiculous. You know what? I am going to give her some pink eyes. Hey, this is neon hairstyles. Yeah, not well, neon eyes. She th <laughs> <laughs> She's been looking at the sun too long and her eyes are <laughs> pink. There we go. She's got contacts in, that's what we'll say. I'm gonna snatch my sketchbook back and I need to hurry up and finish it. I forgot it. that I chucked it over there. Yeah. No way! <laughs> no. If you see us doing this, guys, in this video, it's this, like, blanket. It's... I think it's just made of, like, the hair of our dead enemies because it's just everywhere. That's much darker than the... what I thought it would be. Purple highlighters are the special ones. And why are they special? Because in standard highlighter packs, you tend to only get, like, pink orange yellow and all that stuff yeah you don't tend to get the blue or the purple and i'm all about them right highlighters <laughs> you it's actually guys you, you might think she's being funny but steph actually collects highlighters <laughs> I do. 
It's like, it's a rare colour, I need it. <laughs> Sometimes she'll sit on eBay looking for like single listings of like highlighter colours that she doesn't have. And it's like, oh, I'll watch that one. <laughs> oh no, you're giving me flashbacks. What? So, once upon a time when I didn't have an awful lot of money on me at the time, I had about like five pounds to spend in like my bank account, which at the time was quite a bit of money to have access. I was rich back in the day. And I really, really wanted to get a purple highlighter. Yeah, yeah. And because I only had like five pounds, it was going to cost me about two or three pounds to get like this highlighter in or whatever. And my friend was saying to me, oh my god, you can't spend like two, three pounds on one highlighter. You're going to have to buy like a pack of them. And she found me a pack for like the full five pounds. Oh, okay. I don't think she realised how broke I was at the time. So I was like, okay, yeah, it seems silly getting one highlighter for like this much money. But there was other stuff I wanted to get as well. And I could have got like a Posca pen as well. This was the dilemma at the time, guys. Follow me. <laughs> this was my dilemma. So I emailed the company that I'd ordered one purple highlighter from, and I was like, oh, can I exchange this instead for a pack of highlighters? Oh, so you wanted to just swap it over? Yeah, so the guy emails me back, and he's like, um, okay then, yeah. We'll <laughs> Whatever, you weirdo. <laughs> And then I sat there and I was thinking about this for like an entire night and I was like, I can't do it. I need to get the Posca pen as well. I can't, <laughs> oh my I can't God. get this full pack of highlighters. I only want the purple one. So then I had to email this guy again and be like, actually, can I trade the pack of highlighters for just one purple highlighter? And I could just tell by the way he responded to me that he was just like, I've never known someone to have such a dilemma <laughs> of a highlighter. <laughs> you are strange. Never use my store again. <laughs> It was literally like the price difference of about a pound or something. It was like, what is going on with this girl? <laughs> look, I'll give you all the highlighters I have. Just don't use my star again. Oh, look, it's the floating hat again. <laughs> I'm a ghost. I'm sorry. I'm just concentrating, lining my drawing. It distracts me because it looks like a duck. It's got like a bell. A duck. Like <laughs> no. I have to get some googly eyes and stick it on. Then it can pretend to be me. Oh, is that a fine liner that I see? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. You're practically doing the highlighter challenge over here. Oh, well, that's fine. Impromptu highlighter challenge with B. I need to, like, ink mine to bring out the lines because I sketch so lightly. I'm scared to smudge it. I'm like, I'm not going to ruin this. I'm going to work really hard. I'm pushing my boundaries. Aww. Have you guys pushed any art boundaries recently? Or life in general? <laughs> <laughs> have you pushed your life in general? <laughs> well, you know, you guys might have done. You might have done something that scares you. You might have, like seen a spider and been like, I'm not going to be scared of him. I'm going to ask him how his day was and then politely ask him to leave. Oh, I wish I could do that with the one in the bathroom. He's been living in our bathroom for like a month and I don't want to do anything about him. I live here now. <laughs> He's behind the toilet. I'm not going behind there. <laughs> it makes me scared to go to the toilet though. <laughs> I'm scared to poop. So like, seeing as I'm pushing my art boundaries this episode, I think you should push yours too. I am. You've nicked off with the best fine liner, so I'm having to use this ballpoint pen that barely works. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so there's my boundaries being pushed. That's a good... The Ink Joy ones are good ballpoint pens. Didn't yeah. we use one in a ballpoint pen challenge once? I think it's just that it hasn't been used in a while, so the ink was a bit... <laughs> a bit dry. I just can't seem to get the ink flowing out of it. Okay, chameleon fine liner, it's your job again. <laughs> Oh, that one did pretty well last time, yeah. So, um, I, I was happily inking away and colouring this in and thinking, oh, this looks nice. And I think I might have made, like, a vital mistake. What? I mean, if I turn this over, can you see any kind of... To me, it seems really obvious, guys. I really can't tell what it is. It just looks like a hand's, like, she's inserted oh. her hand into her head. <laughs> I coloured in the hand. Oh yeah, I can see where the hand's meant to be. So it looks like she's just gone. She's just gone like. To me, it looks more so like she's maybe she's got a wig on and she's inserted a hand into the wig and she's adjusted. <laughs> I have entered the wig. Don't mind me. I'm just checking if my brain's still there. <laughs> so yeah, just imagine that she has like really thick hair and she's I don't know scratching her head or something. <laughs> How's yours coming along, hun? Oh, she looks funky cool. I nicked this from the highlighter pack. Oh, is that like the insert? Yeah, because I've been bleeding through on these pages quite a lot recently, so I thought... Saving paper. Yeah. Remember to be frugal with your art supplies. Ooh, blue grow sounds good. Let's use that for a t-shirt. Okay. And just remember, your hands don't belong inside your head. <laughs> I didn't even do the hands on mine, so I'm good. 
can't put my hands in my head if I ain't got any. God, that, that comes up so dark on... It's not actually that dark in real life, but on camera that comes out so dark. It almost looks black. There we go, guys. <laughs> Sometimes you've just got to check it's still there. <laughs> what are you up to over there? So I did that one at the top, and now I'm working on a second one. Oh yeah, she looks really cool. And this is what you've got right now. Oh, she's cute. I like her eyelashes. You know when you draw something, you can already sort of imagine the colours that it's going to be in. Yeah. I imagine her with like really dark, plain, natural coloured hair. I don't see the neon, so... The challenge of this is obviously to add the neon, so I'm going to have to break <laughs> my vision. <laughs> my vision. It's broken. I don't know, she looks cute. She could look good with neon hair too. I like her outfit as well. I quite like the shape of her hair that I've got going on. Uh, I'm gonna nick this fine liner this time. What now? Oh, you're so good at like getting in and doing like the little the little details with that. This one is such a thin fine liner. It's like almost like a needle. It's so thin. I just caught a glimpse of what Adam's <laughs> working on and it's made me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> it is a man of, very, of a very long fringe. <laughs> That's so cool. When I was in, I guess what would be called high school, I had a really long fringe. It went over my eyes. I thought it was the coolest thing, but I probably looked like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you used to grow your fringe out? Mmm. I've only ever seen photos of you with a really short fringe. <laughs> That's because those years are best left in the past. <laughs> oh, I want to see photos. Oh, I'd be really surprised if any photos exist. We didn't have, like, cameras and stuff. Our idea of a good time was waiting six months to grow our fringes. <laughs> It was just a different time, because back then, even when I was in, like, secondary school, mm -hmm. there wasn't really the technology as much. Like Yeah, like, camera phones had just come out and they were terrible. <laughs> yeah, they were, like, everyone jokes about, like, potato quality, but those really, really were potato quality. phones quality. were potatoes. Most people who wanted to take photos at school used to bring in those cameras you have to develop. It's crazy how much camera technology has evolved since we were born. There you go. What was your first phone? Yeah, tell me what your first phone was. Oh, I don't even know models of phones and stuff. Mine was a Motorola one and it had a huge, like, if you imagine a phone like this now, it had like a massive antenna coming out <laughs> of the top like that. When I was really little, my mum given me her old mobile that had like a, an antenna thing. Mm. In case I ever went somewhere and I needed to contact her. Which I never had to, but everyone thought it was so cool that I had like this massive brick phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Every piece of like technology that I owned growing up always had to be pink. Really? I thought I was so cool because the phone case that I had for mine, it, gl it could glow in the dark. So I was like, oh man, I'm so cool. Wow, it glowed in the dark. Even I'm impressed by that. <laughs> wow. I remember as a kid, everyone used to have those glow in the dark stars on the bedroom wall. Oh, and yeah. I was so jealous. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have them, but I knew someone that did. You can have hairy hands. Oh man, you're a hairy man. Look at that, guys. Isn't that really pretty? I'm glad I managed to fit them both on the same page. She looks so wholesome. I want to be your friend. Adam's nail salon is open for business. <laughs> hey, you see me in the nail polish video. I am good at putting on nail polish. I just noticed, is he wearing a system of a down? Yeah. T-shirt. He reminds me of someone that I knew in school. <laughs> oh wow, so he, that's why he did it. Yeah, he wore like a uh, system of a down t-shirts and stuff and slipknot shirts and you know, you know the kind. There we go. Got to, got to get that arm <laughs> hair in. It's time to colour the hair, I think. Oh, I'm excited to see what colours you pick for yours. I'm not sure what to go with. You think pink would be good? Oh, that'd be interesting. Because I gave him two longer bits at the front. I wonder if I should do those pink down here. Ooh, oh, wow, look at that pink. <laughs> it's radiating. It's radiating from my dark soul. I'm always blown away by it. These, uh, what is it, Statler? I can never pronounce it right, but... <laughs> These guys know how to make really good highlighters. I wonder um, what country the brand Stettler's from. I've always thought, oh yeah, German. Made that, in Germany. That makes sense because like in the English language it's unusual to see a D and a T next to each other. It's like a D. D, D. Should we try orange? Oh, orange would be cool. <laughs> His hair kind of looks like one of those uh, Splatoon squids. Yeah, it does. The colour combo as well. While we're recording this, Splatoon's literally just came out. Splatoon 2, I should say. Yeah, we don't have it, but we've played uh, the free demo thing. Yeah, we played the the little preview demo. And it's really hard. Everyone's really good at it. Yeah, everyone was so good in the demo. I thought it paired you up with people who were like as equally good as you, but I was... <laughs> 
way worse than everyone in the teams I was putting. We are awful, awful at Splatoon. Are you nervous about doing this Yeah, because I really just wanted to colour it dark brown. Oh, You're listening, Stetler or whatever your name is, we need a dark brown highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't decide what colours to put in a hair, so I just did like one of every colour. <laughs> oh, rainbow hair. It does look really, really cute. I'd say it suits her. I'll link a mystery video somewhere up here. Let me know what it is, because YouTube magic's at it again. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for a bright future, brighter than these highlighters that we use today. Doodle dirt! Doodle dirt! Bye! Bye! <laughs>